For this piece, I was inspired by a small watercolour sketch from a series I made whilst I was living with my dad in Suffolk during the third lockdown. I used natural materials I found around the farm and on walks in Suffolk. I just pick up anything that catches my eye, I bring them into my work, physically bridging the perceived separateness of nature, art and man. The sketch I chose to work from was one I made whilst walking through fields at dusk and feeling particularly amazed at the way immersing myself in nature can pretty quickly ease the tension in my city stomach. When I'm immersed in nature, I feel like I've come home and making art about nature is my way of staying connected to that place of calm and quiet, that sense of home, even when I'm away. I believe it's a two-way thing though, we need the natural world just as nature needs us. We're symbiotic, not separate. For this piece, I laid down the texture and built up layers of paint using fast, bold strokes. I worked with a variety of media, including emulsion, paint, hydrated calcium sulfate, glue, straw and oil paint. Materials wise, I used everything from long pallets to electric sanders and heat guns. I like the idea of building up layers and then breaking them down again to reflect the cycles found in life and in the human psyche. I use a glass palette over white paper for my oils because I like to see the colour clearly and I like the feel of my brushes on the glass. I work on a large scale, sometimes painting out of the canvas or frame to get a sense of the vastness of nature which, like human emotion, is sometimes too powerful to contain. But rather than trying to, I think we need to instead make space, expand the container. My process is uncontrolled. I try to stay in my right brain and not let analysis take over, to attempt to allow for the wild, the subconscious, the infinite unknowable to make its mark. For this piece, as with all my work, I was focused on the power of nature and the natural world to heal. When I feel depleted, as I tend to after a long stint in the city. I plug myself into nature. I come back to Suffolk or somewhere wild if possible and walk through fields, hug trees, lie on the grass, make a mud ball, get my hands dirty, sleep outside and it recharges me. I wrote a poem called Night Nature about this process, particularly about walking in nature during the night. There's something about just being me in the world that's very special and very hard to recreate in London. Charcoal field breeze, steal away the city stomach to your shadow smudged horizon. A modern strain clings to me like heavy dew as I search the mud for reasons. Shapes I knew before, now blurring edges, not quite lines, unclamp this clenching jaw. In your liminal world, I am certain of nothing, yet have never felt so sure. Reveal your silent wisdom as I rise up from the earth, let it turn me into dust. A blackened sky embrace, such tantalising dark as dearth among the grey and rust. Wind and rain adorn me, petrichor resume me, wind and fire enthrall me. Night nature, don't leave, for the moment I am free is the moment you consume me.